Every state must ensure that its agencies and officials do not commit acts of genocide, and they are also under a legal obligation to take all measures within their powers to prevent genocide. Discrimination lays the ground for violence and persecution, dehumanization of entire communities, and ultimately, genocide. que ma petite nièce, celle qu'on voit ici. La même chose va se voir ou va se passer du côté, du côté de mon mari. Là, c'était une photo aussi qu'on avait eu la chance de prendre. Quand nous avons eu notre premier né, nous sommes allés le présenter à la famille, au moins ceux qui étaient encore vivants. J'étais là, j'ai survécu. Mais tu survis comment Tu survis, tu es où, tu es qui, quand tout le reste de ta famille est tué The scars of mass atrocities are deep and painful, and only the exercise of justice can help surmount that pain. I believe we would all agree that the extreme forms of identity-based violence that we have witnessed in countries such as the Central African Republic Iraq, Pakistan, South Sudan, and Syria are unacceptable. But equally intolerable are the serious human rights violations and abuses that different ethnic, religious, or national groups are suffering in Myanmar, Nigeria, or in the North Caucasus.